Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Abimbola. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back again. Guys, I am happy to be back. Like back and better, back for good. I know, I know, I know. It's been a long time. It's been a while that I showed up on this channel. In fact, the last few videos I posted were pre-recorded videos. So it's been three months since I went MIA and um, I'm going to give you the details of everything that went at the back. So guys, as you can see, I am filming this video from outside Nigeria. I am currently in the United Kingdom. I migrated to the United Kingdom. You know, I've always um, mentioned in some of my previous videos that I am a nurse. And yeah, that's what I do for a living, aside from YouTube and other things. And, um, you know, there, there's been opportunities for healthcare workers to migrate into the United Kingdom. So I took it up and um, I grabbed that opportunity. So it's been a kind like a roller coaster. The journey has been full of a lot of ups and downs. And but finally, we thank God for a successful end. We are here and we are here for good in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I've had to do a lot of things. For this journey to be successful, I had exams to write, and those exams were time consuming. Like I had to write IELTS, I, I had to write another nursing exam just to qualify to be able to come over. After my exams, I had to start applying for jobs because the truth is, it did not just come automatically. It's not like there was a job waiting for me and I just grabbed it and packed my load and started coming to the United Kingdom. No. <laughs> I had to, okay, instead of rewriting my LTS, then evaluating my credentials with my professional body. Then I wrote another uh, computer-based exam just to test my competence as a nurse. These exams were, <laughs> they were draining for me because I can't afford to fail. I could not afford to fail. So I had to focus and concentrate on the exam. This journey started since um, January, actually since December, but it became very serious in January and um, yeah, I am. <laughs> almost 10 months later and um, yeah you can you can imagine everything that has gone into it in the 10 months you know after writing my exams started applying for jobs i had to put out over 100 applications before i was able to get slots for at least one interview so you can imagine how stressful that is you know filling a lot of forms online um building a statement like a supporting statement of why we want to be recruited something that is not less than 1000 words so and you have to build different supporting statements for different jobs for different employers so it's actually a lot it was a lot of work for me in the real sense of it because i still had my um seven to five job back in nigeria that i was doing and i was doing this alongside with the seven to five job I had my family to take care of, I had my son to take care of, I had my husband to take care of, I had my home to take care of. So it was it was a lot. It was a lot of work for me. <laughs> for me actually. My husband was very, very helpful, especially when I started applying for jobs. It was very, very helpful. But he's not a nurse. So <laughs> there's little to what he could do. So I had to be at the forefront and um, you know, face it. So after I got jobs, uh, after because I got jobs, actually. I was able to get at least three jobs out of the hundreds of applications I put out. So I, after I got job, then I decided on the particular employer I want to go with. So after I got the offer letter and my, um, my employment um, contract, then I had to, you know, start another process of doing some checks, verification of documents, uh, medicals, uh, motels, going for my visa appointment and traveling from Portacourt to Abuja, Abuja back to Lagos, Lagos back to Portacourt. It was a lot. It was a lot. With my baby, my baby is just, it's less than two years old. So you can imagine carrying baby along with, you know, all these things I had to do. So YouTube was not even in perspective like youtube i i my mind was on youtube i knew i had not put out any content in months but this is what is paying me at the moment like this job this nursing job is what is paying me at the moment is what is giving me my daily my income at the moment so i could not sacrifice it for youtube because youtube we are still begging God. We are all coming. <laughs> so you guys, that's why you should subscribe to this channel. And please 
subscribe a job please subscribe let's 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 promote this channel at least before the end of the year let's get to 1000 subscribers please and let's grow let's grow well before the end of the year so share us share with as much people as possible tell them about me my content i'm still going to be creating content on marriage and motherhood now in the foreign land in the abroad you know different from what i was used to in nigeria my challenges everything you need to know then i'll put a little bit of lifestyle because you guys have to know what is going on here in the uk <laughs> So I'll be putting a little bit of lifestyle in between and um, yeah, if there's anything else you want me to talk about on the channel, just let me know. Put it down in the comment section. If you're happy to see me again, let me know. Put it down in the comment section. Welcome me. Say, tell me. Abimbala, welcome back. We miss you. We love you. Put it in the comment section. Let me know. You know, let me let me see the love. I want to feel it. I want to know if you guys missed me because I miss everybody. Like, I miss... I miss I miss you all honestly. Yeah, so that is what I've been presently oh, as I'm filming this video. I'm preparing for my um, exam. That is going to be my final qualifying exam to practice as a nurse in the UK. So the next couple of weeks is not going to be a walk in the park. I pray for grace, I pray for ease, I pray for the favor of God, but you know I have to put in work as well. Hard work is important. I do not come here to play. I came here to make money. <laughs> so before I can make that money, I have to show that, yes, I can work the work that will pay me that money. So, yeah, which is the reason why I have to prepare well for this exam. I pass it in one sitting. And I pray that um, God will help me. So by the time this video is going up, guys, just know that I have already passed my exams. <laughs> and I have qualified as a nurse in the UK by the grace of God. Yeah, so I just said, okay, let me put this information out there to explain why i've not been on um youtube in the past couple of weeks and um, yes i filmed the video my relocation video traveling from nigeria to the uk and everything i filmed the video i've been filming my daily updates uh, as a new immigrant in the uk but i'm not sure it's going to be on this channel because i currently have another channel for everything not seen in the uk everything not seen and living in the uk i don't want to have a mix of um, content on this channel because this channel is was created for marriage and motherhood and that is what i still want to stick with you understand so to discuss about nursing in the uk and living in the uk some part of living in the uk will be on this channel but the major part of nursing and living in the uk as a nurse will be on the other channel i will put the link down in the description box below so if you have nurses in your corner and you want them to gain information about um nursing in the uk or nursing in the abroad generally just direct them to that channel they will get on the information that they need yeah so that's the updates guys that's everything that's most that's not everything because other things have happened that i don't want to share yet i'll share them later but that's the major thing I have come to talk to you about and uh, share with you and if you are watching this video and you have not yet subscribed to my channel please hit the red subscribe button below thank you and uh, give this video a like if you are happy to see me again and I'll see you in the next video till then stay safe and stay blessed bye